Hey what's up guys, it's Chris here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This video we're going to be talking about episode 5 of The Walking Dead season 11. Um, now before I get started I just want to let you guys know that this is not an ordinary re review. I'm just going to be talking about the stuff that I liked and some of the stuff I disliked. And I won't be going over the entire episode, just the stuff I want to talk about. Um, also this was definitely the best episode of the season in my opinion. So much stuff happened that I really liked, and it was just, it, it was just perfect. Um, Aaron's dream was really cool at the start of the episode. All the villain groups he's encountered, he, um, he saw um, the wolves, saviors, and the walkers, and the whispers. So that was really cool to see, you know, some um, villain groups from previous seasons come back into the show but just for a glimpse um, some whispers are still out there as I found out at um, the hilltop and it looks like they're actually living there like in the basement of the building of the um, at the hilltop it looks like they're living there I only looked like a few maybe like six um, one of them told the group they saw someone running out of the cave where they blew up um, with the dynamite so it looks like we'll be seeing Connie soon, finally, because I really want to see what her character's been up to, what she's been doing um, since we last saw her, because if you remember, we saw her at the end of season 10, I think it was, and, you know, she was running away from, the, from walkers, and then she stumbled on the road and fell down, and then, I don't know the guy, I forget the guy's name, but he was, he, he was on the episode with Michonne, her last episode, it was that guy. I forget his name, but I just remember I didn't like him at all. But, you know, I, he was like a, a little bit crazy. I just, I forget his name. Um, we finally get to see Commonwealth, and it looks awesome. Everything there looks great. It looks like the zombie apocalypse, like, didn't even happen. And they're just going on with, you know, ordinary things, you know, everyday things. Um, Yumiko finds her brother. He's working at like a cake shop. He's ba he's making some cakes. Um, Eugene and Stephanie contact the others at Alexandria, um, Rosita and Judith, but they get in trouble. And you know, then Lance Hor Horns but Hornsby, I think that is his name. Is. He walks in and tells them to let him let Eugene go. So he won't have to go to court or anything. It's weird saying, you know, he would have to go to court in the Walking Dead show. It just sounds weird. Um, but there was just one scene in the episode, if you remember, um, at the ice cream truck that Eugene and Stephanie, quote unquote, um, were at. You could see another woman with glasses, and she glances at Eugene and gives him a smile. And why would they show that scene like why would they show her in that scene because we don't know her so my thought is maybe that's stephanie maybe that's a real stephanie and the one that eugene is hanging out with that's like a fake that's not the real one maybe um that lance hornsby put her up to it and maybe they're trying to do trying to find a way um where the alexandria is and um, to see if Eugene actually tells the fake Stephanie where his people are. And it's just weird. So I don't think that's a real Stephanie. I think the girl with the uh, with the glasses and, you know, brown hair um, at the ice cream truck, that's actually Stephanie. Um, Judith, she, she should have just killed that kid because, you know, trying to be a bully in the zombie apocalypse. I mean, come on, that's... That's just, that's just stupid. He should have just, you know, cut him. Cut his arm or something just to scare him. Um, she was talking with Rosita about her family. And she doesn't want to stop thinking about them because she might forget what they look like. And I was a little teary-eyed at this scene because, you know, I feel bad for Judith. Because all of her family just, they're not there because Carl died. And then Rick, he left. We don't know what happened to him. Then Michonne left to look for Rick, and we haven't seen her since. So I just feel bad for the kid. Um, she needs to be around more people, not the kids, in my opinion. She's just way more adult-like than the other kids. Um, what else? Oh, also, I hope we get to see a reunion with her 
Michonne and Rick at the end of this season because that, that would be so cool to see or maybe even the Rick movies hopefully that happens either way it'll be so cool to see and finally the Negan and Maggie tension in this episode was just so weird it gave off a weird vibe and in one scene they're they kept pushing pushing each other around and it, it just looked like they're about to kiss am I the only one that saw that because I'm a I'm in a uh, Facebook group on Facebook about The Walking Dead and everyone that I um I saw said the same exact thing that I said it was just weird and you know I don't, I, I don't see that happening it just gave up a weird vibe um, also I just I love their chemistry on screen it's just so good you know they work they act so well together it's just amazing so yeah um, that's all I got for you guys today overall this episode was amazing definitely the best um, of the season so far and yeah we'll just have to look forward to next episode next week so yeah hope you guys enjoyed please like share subscribe comment down below for more and i'll see you guys in the next video peace